John, well, it has uh, slightly, certainly eased off a little bit, and as well as that, it has brightened up in the last half an hour or last 20 minutes at least. Uh, just tell us the damage in the, in the last little bit. What's the rainfall been? Oh, look, 17 mils now since uh, scratching time this morning. So I think there'd been four mils up to about an hour ago, and then there was some quite heavy rain. I think just about the time I arrived on course, it got <laughs> fairly wet. Um, yeah, so 17 mils now. So this is a significant rainfall at the start of a race day. Um, and obviously looking at the weather, I think we're probably going to get a few more showers as the day goes on. Hopefully no more heavy stuff like that. 19 mils yesterday, so all up, you know, you're getting close to 40 mils, I guess. So, yeah, it's a, it's a shame for the, for the day, but um, I guess it is what it is. And um, yeah. conditions obviously been downgraded to a slow seven after that uh, dead fire that was posted this morning. Um, and clearly, again, you know, rain on the day always does the most damage. So we'd expect the track certainly to cut out and... And there have been repercussions from that downgrade too, John. Uh, yeah, we've had three late scratchings so far. In race five, number 12, pep talks come out. And in one of the day's features, unfortunately, there's the same mistakes. There's been a couple come out, four Equinox and ten the Beauty Diva. Uh, yep. Both been withdrawals. Um, the phones have gone quiet at the moment, so whether now everyone's going to have a look and see how the track plays for the first couple before they, they make any further decisions. But again, you know, good stake money today, good feels, and we're getting towards the uh, the end of the summer season, I guess, so there may be a few that'll sort of roll the dice and see how they go. Um, just one rider change to this result coming out this morning uh, in race six. Uh, Michael McNabb just advised he couldn't do the 54 kilos for Mazamino, so been uh, sorry, for Damazoro, yeah. been replaced there by Cameron Lemus. Okay, and uh, just when we did see that heavy rain, obviously we were we were talking just about, uh, you know, you know what could be the worst sort of thing. Uh, you know, th th at this stage we we're all A-OK -A to continue for a, for a race day? Oh yeah, certainly fine. Look, you know, as, as we know, the, the drainage has been redone here anyway, and, yep. and this time of the year, water does normally drain pretty quick, but I guess uh, we wouldn't have liked to have seen that rain carry on throughout the day. Well, we might have had some issues. Okay. Thanks for joining us, John, and uh, yeah, let's hope we uh, have clearing and, and, and a clean race day. Thanks, mate. Okay, uh, so John Otham giving us the latest here. We'll let him duck undercover. It has eased, and as you can see, this is uh, a lot lighter than it was, uh, well, only sort of 10, 15 minutes ago, boys, so hopefully we're, uh, we've seen the worst of the rain, and uh, the conditions, but we will keep you updated uh, throughout the program. Thank you, Aidan. The, the positives are that uh, obviously that drainage work is going to mean the track is not going to be anywhere near as bad as what it would have been a year ago.